Hi, I'm Jen Yarbrough with Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, and today I'm cooking for you a spatchcock turkey on a 36 inch Cabela's pellet smoker. Let's get started. First, we are going to cut out the spine on the turkey. It's very important that you don't cut out the breastbone. So make sure you got the turkey sitting correctly to know which bone you're cutting out here. You just wanna take your kitchen shears and cut along the spine. You're gonna have to use quite a bit of force to bust through the rib bows that are connected here to the spine. K to incorporate some help with very sharp knife. Be careful not to cut your fingers because those bones are very sharp inside this turkey. All right, so now you have the entire spinal column out of the bird. I'll flip this around so you can see. This would be the rear end of the turkey. You wanna go ahead and cut all that out. All right. So now you have the entire spine out. It's also called butterfly other than spatchcock. So we're gonna flip it back over so that it's breast side up. We will not be needing the spine. You can save this and make a delicious broth with it. So I'm just gonna set it aside here. So now you have your turkey breast side up. You want to pull the legs out and flatten it out. So you have a butterfly turkey. And next, you are going to want to separate the skin from the meat, because we're going to put some butter in here and then we'll pin it shut. I just have a full stick of butter and we'll just put little pats of it throughout the bird. Make sure you get it on the sides and on the top. All right, now that we got the butter in there, we're going to use some toothpicks and hold the skin in place. That way your butter doesn't slide out. Just You're just gonna pin it in place I'm kind of pulling the skin tight before I pin it, just to get some extra hold there. Now I'm going to grab some paper towels and pat this thing dry, and then we'll put the glaze and all of the seasonings on it. Pat it dry. The drier you get the bird, the better. Everything is going to stick to it and not run right off and be wasted. So you want to get real dry. Now we are ready for the Cabela's Garlic Herb Butter marinade and glaze and we're just going to apply this all over the top of the bird don't be afraid to use what you feel might be too much because it will not be too much now we will sprinkle all of the herbs on the top i've got a little bit of parsley apply it evenly all over the bird with some rosemary and then a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, now that the turkey's all prepared, we're gonna stick it on the pellet grill and cook it at 275 until the internal temperature is at 160 degrees. We're gonna use the built-in temperature probes to keep an eye on it. I've been keeping an eye on our turkey from inside using the Cabela's Grill app, still holding temperature, and it is at 160 degrees, so it's time to pull this turkey off. Oh my goodness, this looks so beautiful. So we're gonna pull this turkey off of the grill and take it inside and get it ready to serve up. All right, we just brought the turkey in from the grill. As you can see, it is perfectly brown. Look how even it is. That's one of the, the pluses of doing a spatchcock turkey. It cooks way more evenly. And uh, we're getting ready to cut into this thing and you can see how juicy it is. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. Let me know what you think in the comments and visit our channel for more recipes like this one.